Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. You might notice I'm in the Minecraft world. No, this didn't just become a gaming channel all of a sudden, you are in the right place. However, a Minecraft Life Noggin episode has been our most requested. We want to thank you for your continued support, it means a lot, so let's have some fun with this, shall we? Minecraft is undeniably an extremely popular game, but how similar is the Minecraft world to our own? First off, let's talk gravity. To put it very simply, it's the force that makes objects fall to the ground. Some of the blocks in Minecraft obey gravity, like sand and gravel, but the rest seem to just ignore it. For example, we have this tree right here. If you chop the bottom, the top of the tree will just stay there, floating in air. That's a pretty fundamental difference right off the bat. But if you're up for it, let's get a little more complicated. You can also carry around cobblestone with you. No big deal, right? Well, if we had enough of them, we would be carrying over 4,000 pounds on our back. That's heavier than most cars. Now, assuming that the density of cobblestone is around two or three grams per cubic centimeter, if we had enough of them, assuming their volumes are pretty tiny, the weight would add up very quickly. If we had one cubic meter the size of a normal Minecraft block, it would weigh two or three tons. In the Minecraft world, you can find different minerals at various levels underground. Gold is normally found at a greater depth than diamond, which is actually consistent with real life. Some of the deepest gold mines are more than three kilometers deep. And while diamond is formed over 150 kilometers underground, kimberlite eruptions bring them closer to the Earth's surface. The Minecraft world also has its own version of electricity called redstone. Using a redstone power source like a torch, circuits can be made to power different mechanisms. Similar to our own light bulbs, a redstone lamp Will produce heat, melting any ice and snow around it. In an incandescent light bulb, electricity passes through a tiny tungsten filament. The resistance of the filament turns most of the electrical energy into heat, which is transferred to the colder ice nearby. And speaking of hot things, you can get pretty close to lava in the Minecraft world. In reality, if you were standing right next to a lava channel, the radiant heat could potentially burn you. But with that said, there's also types of lava that are better insulated than others. And if Minecraft only has pehoehoe lava, then you might be safe. Just don't step in it. Lastly, you can also play around with quantum physics in Minecraft. Google's Quantum Artificial Intelligence Lab created a mod called QCraft, which demonstrates some important quantum phenomena. For example, blocks may be both a pumpkin and a stone at the same time until someone looks at them. And two quantum blocks can sync up even if they're very far apart in a process called quantum entanglement. So who said video games can't be even a little educational? If you have a favorite video game, leave it in the comment section below and maybe we're gonna do an episode on that one. Don't forget to come back every Monday for a brand new video. And if you enjoyed this video but you're looking for something a little different than education, check out our friend Lonnie over at Lonnie Dose. He makes mobile gaming Let's Play videos and they are hilarious. It's Life Noggin approved, so click that and go check it out. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, also that. I'm Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.